who's the smartest one of the bunch? I don't see nothing. John and Landon? Yeah, we're Okay. Who's the... I'm pretty sure they're about dead even at like 4.8. You and Garrett are pretty All right. Who's the rowdiest? Who's the rowdiest one? Oh, I would... Garrett, you're the beast? Beast mode? Do we do a beast mode? He goes the hardest. He goes, he the, goes hardest. the hardest. He goes the hardest? Who's been doing this the longest? That's definitely me. Landon and uh, John, you said you were the last one to join yeah. the group in sixth grade? Yep. Now, you said it was the Milton Monsters? Yep. Is it That's still the monsters? Is it still the monsters? Yeah. Steve? My dad and uncle. Yeah, who named them? Well, no, no, no. I don't know who named them, but my dad and uncle were the ones coaching. Coaching? Yeah. Okay. So they coached you, all you guys? First one. Yep. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I was his first one. What are you going to remember the most about this guy? Ooh. Wings. The stories. Wings. 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 Wings roll. It's there. That night going to Toppers. Oh, yeah. Yeah, what fun. are you going to do about it, Freddy? <laughs> uh, no, no, no. Kill Whitey and <laughs> kill Whitey. Black, Mamba. Black Mamba. Black Mamba was funny. You guys have won almost, was 598, you said, Coach? 598 victories between you. So two more for 600. What does that number mean? It means nothing. Nothing. Because it's not about the wins. It's about getting to the top of the story. So it's the final four. The horsemen, all four on top. John, you always get to go first, right? Yeah. So, John, is John the guy that you guys look to? He's got to win first to get the ball rolling? Yep. He gets us fired up. Yeah. And then, Landon, where do you come into play? You just, I'm just, yeah, he usually, I'm he usually wrestles on the same mat as John. Yeah, right most after. of the time. He's got the red hair. He's already on fire. Yeah. <laughs> All right. How about you, Garrett? Well, you're, we already said you're the beast, right? Yes. No? Yes. Yes. Oh, he's, yes. He's yes. mean. He's the meanest by far. He's got a mean head, head snap. He's got, he's got a little mean streak in him. <laughs> and, uh, Ian, you got to be the finisher, right? Oh, you got, yeah. they got to wait for you. Let me tell you, he's, he's do, do they save the finisher. best for last? Is that That's the way right. you look at it? The That's best right. for last? Yeah. Now, John was the first one to get the title. What was it like, guys, when he got that title? What was the? Everybody thought, okay, now it's my turn? Oh, yeah. You watch the video, I gave him a high five right after it. Right there, you keep the refs keep telling me there can only be three in a corner, so I had to go stand by the stands. But I was there. Same thing during years. Right. Right. Don't, you yeah. can see him. Yeah. Ian and has yeah. all those yeah. pictures. He's right there. Yeah. <laughs> so happy for these guys now. Time for us. Yeah. Each these two. Yeah. Yeah. We I'm, more, I'm more excited for them than I am for myself and John. I really hope they all we all win. But you know we've been there, we've done that. Now it's their turn, and they can do it. What's the best memory for each of you guys for wrestling? What are you going to remember the most about this? I guess Garrett, start with you. Getting the crab kicked out of me freshman year. Yeah. <laughs> and you kept coming back for more, right? Yeah. Yeah. James and Nick. Yeah, always got the crab kicked out of me. <laughs> John, how about you? Uh, I guess winning state sophomore year and then coming home from Team State with that... Uh, that second place draw really? game, but then I got to ride the shoulders of some of the seniors. I don't know, it was an awesome feeling. And Landon? I gotta say, also sophomore year, winning, in, winning against Strickenbach, and then definitely riding up to advance with all these guys when we were younger. <laughs> How big has advance been for you guys? It's been a huge part to our success. The coaches up there have been wonderful, and they've really helped us get to that next level. And Ian, for you, I mean, you've gone through an awful lot. These guys are your family, aren't they? Yeah. I'm going to – it's going to be a bear next year to go around and watch all their dual meets and get to some of their matches when they're in college, but I'll manage to do it. No, you guys are going to go, but uh, you're not going to wrestle? You're going to follow in your dad's footsteps? Yep. So is that MATC first? Uh, probably Chippewa Valley. Okay. Wrestling's taught me it's taught me a lesson, and now it's time to move on. You have to move on eventually. I'll never fully get away from the sport, but as a competitor, 
Yeah, this is probably it. For, how about you landing next year? I'm definitely looking forward to college, uh, wrestling, hopefully at Warburg. Uh, but we'll see what happens. Well, we'll, we'll see. I have undecided yet. Okay. John? Uh, yeah, I'm looking for wrestling college too. St. John's or Augustana and Rock Island or Luther. I'm not decided yet, but definitely going to wrestle. Go get my pre-med stuff taken care of. Get into a med school and go from there. These are the doctors. <laughs> you going to be a doctor too, Lana? Are you looking at med school? Yep. Definitely. All the injuries are getting banged up in wrestling. I mean, that made you want to go into it a little bit? Definitely, plus the family background. Okay. Garrett, how about you? Uh, I'm going to go wrestling college, but I don't know where yet. So, Warburg. 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 Okay. <laughs> and uh, what does Milton wrestling mean to each one of you guys? A lot. <laughs> A lot. I, Milton itself is wrestling, I believe. You think of Milton, you don't think. You know, the girls swim now has won back-to-back -back state titles. We're good in swim. We're good in wrestling, you know. It's just who we are, and it's just what we do. It's tradition. tradition. You, like that. you know, we're just players in the big the big game, you know. I mean, look at the walk. Yeah. That'll show you. I mean, we didn't start it, but sure as heck going to see that it keeps going on. Add to it, yeah. They say tradition doesn't graduate. So what's your message to the guys in the room that are coming back? Anything can happen, you know. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter who, who's wrestling who. You just go out there and you're tenacious. You beat that guy, and that puts your number 20 on for conference and maybe a state berth. You never know. It's just going out there and wanting it all. And I gotta say, if you ever think that you've done enough, you're wrong because there's always that extra thing that you could be doing. You can always improve, can't you? You can always learn. Yep. All right, Coach, got to step in there. We need a shot with you, too, all right? Come on, both of us. Come on, man. Both of you. Who else is okay? We in here. We in here. The boys. <laughs> is there a better place to end state than the Cole Center, guys, or the end, end, end of the year? Definitely not. Well, yeah. yeah. So your message to the WIA is keep that tournament here, right? Yeah. Yeah. The, the, school, the school doesn't care because <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, final trip for the Four Horsemen. Good luck. Have fun and enjoy. Enjoy the ride. Thank you.